We got some more products in from We The People. Got a long sleeve t-shirt for me. Got a long sleeve t-shirt for Carla. Got a phone case. And then I got their new leather holster. We'll start with the phone case here. Now, if you know anything about me or if you just pay attention to what the name of the, the channel is, I like eagles. So I saw this phone case on there and asked them to, to send this one to me. And I like the picture on the back of it. It's got the eagle and the American flag. But what I didn't either notice in the picture or it didn't show in the picture is the white around the case. So it's a white case with the eagle and the flag stenciled on the back of it. So it's a, and it's a thinner case. This is for the, the iPhone XS and the case fits the phone very well. It's the, the phone doesn't slide around in the case, but the biggest problem I have with it is that white ring, I'm used to black cases, so the, the white sidewall there is just disconcerting. And then the other thing is, with it being a fairly thin case, the face of the phone actually sticks up a little bit above the side of the case. So if it lands face down, there's nothing to keep it from hitting the screen other than the screen protector. So when it hits face down, it's just gonna hit right on the screen and right on my screen protector. So I like the design of the case. It needs to be a black case rather than a white with this particular picture, um, at least for me anyway. And I would like it better if it was, if it came up on the sides of the phone a little bit better. What the way kind of phone case I like to use is the ones that are a little bit thicker like that so that you can see that the screen is down below the edge of the case. So if this thing hits something, granted it could hit something on the way down and hit the screen, but if it lands face down, then the screen is not touching whatever it just hit. So for design, as far as the picture goes, I like it. Other design elements as far as how far it comes up onto the side of the phone and the white sidewall, not so much. Now, this t-shirt. I've had a couple of the short sleeve t-shirts from We The People and I really like those. I wear them all the time underneath uh, my fleece pullovers. They work really great. They're nice heavy material, holds up really well in the wash. This one is a lot thinner material, got a lot of stretch to it. I prefer one that has more of a defined cuff that actually has a little bit of tension in the cuff so that it doesn't hang down over my hand like that. I find that very irritating. Maybe it's just me. I like the picture. It's got the, the flag on the, the right shoulder. And then this one says Sons of Liberty Landscaping and then has the... Uh, Refreshing the Tree of Liberty since 1765. There you go. So it's the, uh, the phrase from, I think that was... Um, was it John Adams? I think it was John Adams or one of the founding fathers talking about watering the Tree of Liberty. That's where this phrase comes from. And then of course it's got We the People on the left shoulder and there's nothing on the back of it. Now, as far as the, the tail of it, it's a nice long tail. Uh, it stays in the, the pants well as far as uh, it not wanting to, to come out. But just the material itself, I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little bit too loose as far as at the cuffs. And then I don't like the stretchy material quite as much. And the, the collar itself, again, is, is kind of stretchy. Uh, you can see I've got the microphone hanging on it there and it's uh, not holding it up very well. And then I've got another t-shirt on under it. So it's a fairly low round neck on this one as well, which is fine. I don't mind that part of it. Uh, it's just that the thing is 
so stretchy, I don't know that it would hold its shape very well after it's been washed a few times. I have not washed this one yet, so I'm not sure how well that's going to hold up. But Carla has washed hers, so let's see what hers looks like. So I have a totally different view of this shirt. I actually like the little bitty cuffs, and I'm wearing a men's small because it doesn't come in women's. You got the same emblems on the side. And then mine, you see I've got it tucked in here. But I can untuck it, which I'm going to have to take off my microphone to do. And this, even though it's a men's shirt, it actually doesn't come too long. It hits about mid-hip. And um, I actually like it better than their women's shirts because it's not as clingy and I like not quite so tight fit. And this says... A well-regulated militia is the best defense of a free country. James Madison. All right. So. I like historical quotes. I've washed mine. Yep, he hasn't is, washed his, so you can see. The, the, the colors, difference. yeah. and It didn't fade. And the material on hers is actually a little bit different yep. than mine. Hers is a little bit thicker material. Yeah, this is the perfect thing. Th this is more like the the regular short sleeve t-shirts here is the one that she's wearing. Mine has feels like it's got more spandex yeah, type material in it. So it's a lot stretchier and it's a thinner weight material. I give the design an A plus as far as the picture and everything on it because I really like the design on it. But the implementation, I don't, I don't like as much as, as Carla does hers. Now, the fourth item that we got was the new Independence leather holster from We The People. They've just started doing leather holsters. Everything up to this point has been a Kydex holster from We The People. But the, the Independence holster is their new design and it's a really good laid out uh, holster. Couple of things I would do a little bit different on it to make it a little bit better. But I'll show you what the holster looks like. And it comes in the standard We The People box like their belts and a lot of the other holsters do. So when you open the box, it's got the, the picture here showing what the, the holster looks like and then a description of why they decided to actually start doing leather holsters because they didn't feel like there was any out there that really came up to what they wanted to do. Uh, and then it comes in the box wrapped up in the paper and it also has one of their signature bags as well in the box with it. Now, the holster itself, I guess you want to see that. The holster has two belt clips on it and it is a tuckable belt clip so you can get your shirt down behind that if you want to tuck your shirt in. And the Holster is adjustable for Kent. You can change the screw patterns. The, the one that will be at the back of the holster, it, you could probably adjust it a little bit because it's got three holes here on the back side that you can see, but more than likely you're going to keep that one in the same position there and just loosen this screw and adjust the way the belt clip is mounted on the, the holster itself. Now, the front one here has got multiple holes that you can use, about three different positions as far as how you want the gun tilted. I prefer mine tilted a little bit more toward the front. I feel like it helps keep it a little bit tighter to my side and keep the, the parts of the gun that are gonna stick out a little bit more. It's got more sharp edges, like the sights and everything, down off of the shirt so that it doesn't print as much if I'm wearing a uh, tighter shirt. You've got several different adjustments that you can go with there to adjust this how you want to. And the belt clips themselves, it's a very thick plastic. They do move well enough that you can get them on and off your belt. I don't think they're going to have much problem with the things breaking that much because it is, it's a lot thicker than some of the other plastic belt clips that I've had on other holsters in the past. So that is, is well designed there. And if you look at how the belt clip is shaped 
it's got a little bit of a tilt to it so that it, it kind of keeps the, the gun pushed back against your side a little bit more and lets the, the nose of the gun come out a little bit, which is gonna be hidden under your pants anyway, but keeps the, the butt of the gun back up against your side a little bit more. There's nothing in the holster other than just the, the leather itself to keep the gun locked in, so it's just the, the tension of the leather. But once you get this tucked down inside your waistband, you're not gonna have to worry about the gun coming out. It's, it's very snug in there. I like the design of the holster. The stitching is very nice. You can see on the holster that the leather is embossed with the We The People logo, both the front and the back. It's a very nice looking holster. That's a, a good thick leather and on the inside of it, it got a, uh, instead of just being the raw back uh, of the, the first piece of leather, they've got a, another piece sewn in there. So it's got some smooth leather on the inside of it to be able to keep the gun nice and protected as you take it in and out of the holster. Now, the one thing that I think they could have probably improved upon would have been making the holster a little bit stiffer as far as being able to reholster the gun when you have it in the belt. Now I know they've, they've got it cut out right here so that if you have an RMR on it, you could use it for that. But the problem with the holster is once it goes in, it doesn't hold itself open. So to be able to reholster the gun, you've got to use two hands to be able to, to get the gun in and shove it down in the holster. Once the gun's in there, it's not going anywhere. So reholstering is not a deal breaker for me on the holster. I would prefer it to stay open better when you're taking the gun out so I don't have to have both hands uh, to be able to, to reholster it if I needed to take the gun out for some reason, other than to, if I'm having to defend myself with it, I'm not worried about reholstering anyway. But it's just day-to-day -day stuff, taking the gun out to do something else and then having to put it back in there, you've got to use two hands to be able to, to get the gun back in the holster. Now, other than that, I think it's a great holster. I've been wearing it now for several weeks, I think it's two to three weeks at least that I've, I've had it on here. And I've wore it in all different situations, out working outside on the, the new shed for the shooting range, just around the house, doing other things. It conceals well against the, the body so it, it doesn't let the gun stick out that much when you're just wearing a normal shirt over the top of it. It stays against your body really well. It's comfortable when you're wearing it uh, and it stays in place very well. The two belt clips keep it very well secured on the belt so it's not gonna be constantly going back and forth as far as up and down your belt when you've got the thing on. So the new independence holster from We The People if you're looking for a, a, a nice leather holster, I would definitely consider this one from We The People. It's a nice holster and it looks like it's gonna hold up very well because it is a fairly thick leather and it's well molded to the shape of the gun. It is gun specific. You have to order it based on uh, your specific gun because it, all of the detailing on the gun is pressed into the leather so that you can see where the ejection port is and your um, trigger guard and, and all the, the different parts of the gun to help it lock it in to the leather. So overall, I really like the holster. I'd recommend you taking a look at it and don't forget about our discount code that we have with We The People. That'll be in the description down below. So check out DoubleLegalGunWorks.com, like and subscribe down at the bottom, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.